And calling all Apple fans, this one's for you. Apple unveiled new devices today, including a new iPad and Apple Watch, but the most anticipated item is the new iPhone. CBS 4's Naomi Ruckham tells us about the latest features. We are thrilled to introduce our next generation of iPhone. Apple CEO Tim Cook used a virtual event to show off the new iPhone 13. There are no major changes, but the 5G device offers a faster processor and longer battery life. There's also an updated camera that records video in cinematic mode, and the company says pictures are even sharper. Brighter results in your photos and videos. How big are iPhone sales for the company? The iPhone is still Apple's most important product, right? It, it represents about half of the company's revenue. CNET's Ian Schur says the camera has become a huge selling point for all smartphone companies. The features we've seen in the last few years are built around being able to take better photos, being able to take photos that look very professional. Apple's main competitor in smartphone sales is Samsung. Last month, the company revealed its latest version of the Galaxy phone, which unfolds into a larger device. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 comes with 5G and an $1,800 price tag, which is actually cheaper than last year's $2,000 version. Samsung also has a $1,000 new Flip 3 that can fold in half. This is the Pixel 5a with 5G. The recently released 5a is Google's cheaper phone priced at $450. The company is expected to unveil a brand new Pixel 6 later this fall. These are the best iPhones we've ever created. Prices for the new iPhone lineup are the same as last year. Because the design hasn't changed much, reality is Keeping the prices around where they are is good business decision for them. Baseline. The new phones will be available on September 24th. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.